Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. Just after our daybreak program concluded, things are decently quiet for right now. If you've never joined us before, this is our brand new look to our weather blog online, our exclusive video weather blog. If you'd like to know more, all you have to do is drop by wreg.com slash weather for more information. Available on all those social media networks up there just above my head between there and the bottom of the phone information about the current conditions as we record this today's forecast and tonight's forecast in the bars right over here so thanks for joining us we also have a lot of other information to talk about today whether it's about history and also the future we also have information to show uh, today is the uh, International Day for Women and Girls in Science. If you haven't heard about that or would like to know more about what that means and how you can get involved by promoting science and technology and mathematics to everybody, but especially to girls to make certain that they know more about what opportunities are available to them. Great opportunity to learn more, especially from the United Nations, the Office for Outer Space Affairs listed right here. And we'll have more on that coming up in just a little bit. Mostly cloudy across the area. Our weather bug camera from around St. Francis in Germantown showing traffic light to moderate not too much to worry about in the way of rainfall at this time but more spotty sprinkles out there mostly cloudy at Power Center Academy looking back toward Winchester and around the area of Hickory Hill and things decently quiet for early this morning. Rhodes College in Memphis, cloudy skies on the weather underground camera and temperatures right now back in the mid 60s with winds out of the south southwest, a little lighter than what they were before, but still pretty breezy. And on the weather underground system in Mineral Wells, Mississippi, not too far away from Olive Branch, Tim B's webcam showing a lot of clouds out across much of the area. Rest of the day today, again, mainly cloudy skies coming up, but temperatures will be back into the mid to upper 60s across much of the area. Winds also will be decently breezy throughout the course of the rest of the day. So if you have any plans for travel out there, again, what we're going to be seeing with those winds in the red bar on your screen is going to be the possibility of some fairly choppy conditions. So as you're going out and about today, you may see again some wibble wobbles of the car that you're driving. So let's be careful on that. Also remember if there is rain and your windshield wipers are activated, your lights have to be on that state law. So let's be careful of outside of that. Temperatures today will be back in the lower 70s. That's that is a little bit warmer than where we should be at this time of the year. We'll take a look at the almanac temperatures here in just a bit. We're behind for the month and for the year at this point. We are behind for the month of February by just over an inch or so. So it's been a decently dry month of February out there. And likewise for the uh, year itself, about an inch or so behind so we can use some more rainfall. Today's record high is 76, last set back in 1999. And that also will be something we're going to try to make a run for today. It's not going to get all the way there, but it is going to be very much on the mild side. Yesterday's high temperatures, again, back into around the mid to upper 60s, so a rather warm day across much of the area. And seeing, again, temperatures well above normal for this time of the year. What does the rest of the forecast look like? Well, as we head into the rest of the day today, we will be seeing the possibility of these scattered showers off and on. They're not going to be huge. They're not going to be, again, anything in the way of major severe weather, but there will be very warm and windy conditions out there throughout the rest of the day. The spotty green that you see on the screen, that's the possibility of sprinkles. Again, you may pick up a shower in Forest City, Arkansas, and not get anything in Wynn. You may pick up a shower in Millington and not get anything in Atoka. They're going to be that widespread, but also that localized across the area so that's what we can expect throughout the rest of the afternoon high temperatures today way above normal upper 60s to around the lower 70s and the chances of rain will be sticking around through news channel 3 at 6 later on tonight also around news channel 3 at 10 overnight we start to see an increase in the rainfall as a new cold front starts to make its way on down from the north that front is going to be making its way into the Mid-South as we get into very early tomorrow morning. Now again, the possibility of this front causing any severe weather does not look to be a major concern, but we do see this front again dropping through the area as we go through about lunchtime tomorrow. And that front will continue to make its way on down toward the south and the west. So we will see again the potential of more areas of activity as this front continues to slide its way on down that direction. There we go. Try to get that thing 
mobilized and moving. Back into tomorrow night, clear dry conditions start to make their way into the area, so we start to see a little bit more improved conditions, but it will also be cooler as that cold air drops on down from the north to the south. So by News Channel 3 at 10 Sunday night, temperatures will be a little bit on the cooler side. Seven day forecast today, way above normal, very close to that record high of 76 in many locations, but scattered showers in the clouds will help to kind of block out some of the sunshine, and that means we'll have less heat. Tomorrow, the temperatures will be set very early. The high temperatures will be set early in the morning, and then with that front coming through, we will drop the temperatures throughout the rest of the day into the evening hours. Very cool, very close to normal on Monday. Temperatures back in the lower 50s with a mixture of clouds and sun out there. Valentine's Day, again, not great news for heading out on the town because we're going to be seeing the best chance of showers and thunderstorms out there as we go toward the afternoon and evening hours especially. But then clearing out, we get a little bit of rainfall coming up on Wednesday, just a slight chance of some activity there, and then dry pretty much throughout the course of the rest of the week with numbers again getting out there into about the 30s briefly as we go toward very early on Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then also some cool conditions into Friday morning. But then after that, temperatures warm back up again to the lower 60s to right around the lower 70s. So it's it's not going to be that much of anything involving any cool conditions out there. Back to Iraq. Temperatures back into the upper 50s around Mosul. Sunny skies there. Sun has set back around Basra, 69 degrees. Lower 60s Baghdad and back down toward Najaf. Into the Persian Gulf. Temperatures in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s with a few clouds out there, but otherwise no major inclement weather taking place. Afghanistan. Snow and a lot of it last week. Today and into the evening hours. Chilly, but not seeing too many problems. Temperatures pretty close to where we are right now in Kandahar, back in the mid-50s and lower 30s across much of the rest of the country. Korean Peninsula, temperatures back into around the lower 20s to around the lower 30s out there. Korean Peninsula time, that's just very close to around uh, Sunday afternoon and evening into around the area, or Saturday afternoon, I should say, out there. And then looking back toward around the area of Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, still an active military area down toward that base, and temperatures, again, not totally bad for this time of the year, back in the mid to upper 70s across the southeastern Cuban island for right now. Want to know more about severe weather? Great opportunity to learn more. These are where the places you want to go to for the first five meetings across the Mid-South as sponsored by the National Weather Service in Memphis. They will be teaching these courses. You get to sit and listen to what goes on. Kids, I would say as young as about eight or nine years old, if they're interested in weather and being prepared for what goes on, what do those colors on the radar mean? Where do you go when severe weather hits? What can you report back to the National Weather Service? All that stuff is available at these meetings. You show up, it's about an hour long, you take the course and you're ready to go. That right there helps you get a little bit more ready for severe weather. The first meeting will be coming up in Boonville, Mississippi on Tuesday the 21st in just about another 10 days or so. Tate County Emergency Operations Center in Senatobia, if I'm not mistaken, I have to fix that there. There should be an address, 107 Court Street. After that, numbers will again be into around the uh, Blytheville, Arkansas area at Northeast Co Arkansas Northeast College, Pontotoc County Chancery Building in Pontotoc, Mississippi, and Tupelo, Mississippi in Lee County. All this is available right here at WREG.com slash weather if you'd like to know more. Memories of Ice Storm 94. This is the 23rd anniversary of the Ice Storm of 94. We've been sharing some of the memories of these with you across the area. And if you'd like to know more, go to my Facebook page. This is where all the information is. Cheryl Locke Heart, some interesting memories there. Power lines dropped across the car of Laura Greenwell's husband back then, and the MLGW truck had to rescue him from that. So some scary situations out there, and thanks to everybody for sharing those. If you've got something you'd like to share, this is where you go to. Again, websites up here in the icon section and also available here. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, <coughs> excuse me, Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, Periscope, SoundCloud, and as soon as I figure out how to get it, uh, taken care of on 
uh, the Game Boy, I'll get that added to it. Don't forget about our weather app as well for whatever platform you've got. Go to your app store and search WREG Weather. We'll have another check of the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5.30 following CBS Sports, whatever we have on for tonight, also on News Channel 3 at 10. And I'll have more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak as well tomorrow morning with my co-anchor Nina Harrelson, so stay tuned for more there. Questions, concerns, ideas, email me, austin.onic at WREG.com. Thanks for joining me for Saturday morning's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for further updates throughout the rest of the weekend.